I don't often start my video tours in the bathroom, but this master bathroom has me completely wowed. Stay tuned. It's Amy with Heart and Home Orlando, and today we're going to take a look at another quick move in or an inventory home here in Winter Garden, Florida. Now, this home, maybe you're watching this video a week from now, two weeks from now, maybe this home is no longer available. But the other thing that we're going to do is we're going to walk the home so you can see if this floor plan um, suits you, if it's going to kind of check off all your boxes, if you like the way the home flows. I will tell you, one of my favorite things is the master bathroom, so you're going to have to stay tuned to the end of the video for that. But I also so I'm going to point out some really interesting um, design choices that I think they're very, very cool. It's nice to see them in person. Okay, so as we enter into this home, this is a four bedroom, three bath home, 2,281 square feet. So this is a nice size home. It's a one story home, again, four bedrooms. And what's really nice is right over here. So as soon as you enter over here to the right, you're going to have your first of the bedrooms located here at the front of the home, but this one has its own private bathroom. So when you think about your family, Family who might be living with you or staying with you. It's nice to know that there's a bedroom here that has its own private bathroom, which is tucked back here. So you have a, um, a single sink, you have the cabinet counter, you have the toilet with the tub and the shower combo. And of course you've got your closet as well. So this is kind of tucked away private up at the front of the home. Over here to the left is really your entryway or to my left to your right is the entryway from your two car garage. And you have your little drop shelf over here, a great little nook for you to kind of drop everything. You've got USB ports as well. And then we are welcomed into the main hub of the home. So I really like this. This is truly a woodsy type rustic earthy feel and I am grooving on it. So this is far more natural wood plank flooring, very much like a whitewash and a distressed type of a tan cream brown wooden floor, perfectly matched with more of a chestnut cabinet. So not the deeper espresso, not the new cabinet that's almost a gray hue of a, of a tan if there is, or a brown if there is such a thing. The granite itself is gorgeous with the tans, dark browns, hints of yellows and oranges in there coordinating with the backsplash but then as well take a look at the hardware so in nearly every single home that we've seen so far it's like so far it's like a brushed nickel hardware this one is more of a I don't know if rubbed bronze is actually the right term for that but it's, it's more of a gold or a bronze in nature as opposed to the bright um, silver really like this and when you see the master bathroom you're gonna know exactly what I mean about kind of just rustic oasis earthy feel like you're at a spa in the middle of nature. All right, so this is a gas community. So if you like that, if that's something that's on your wish list, here you go. We don't have many of them in Florida. So if you like it, and if it's an absolute must have, then check this community off. Make sure that you know that this is going to check off one of those boxes. Microwave up above. And again, additional cabinets and counters, your island pre-wire for three pendant lights. I always say that that is your opportunity to make the home totally yours and your little pop of personality. Your overhang here with your island gives you plenty of spaces for your stools um, so that you can sit here um, and have your snack and do your work. Right here underneath this lighting fixture will be your day-to-day -day dining, whether you do a circle or a square or a rectangular table. This is a great designated space for that. Because this home doesn't have a formal living room or a formal dining room, it's really nice that this is more of an elongated space. So if you have one of those tables that you can insert the leaf, maybe it's smaller for your day-to-day -day life, but then when your family, friends, grandkids, children, whoever comes to visit, you add that leaf. And even though it's the kitchen, it's not a formal dining room, you still have a lot of space here that you could extend that table out. Now back over here, <clears throat> excuse me, this is your pantry. 
So you have a nice big walk-in pantry over here, right across from the kitchen area. You have your AC handler here, and I really love this. I love the design of this with the little angular entryways with the doors, one of my favorite things. So back over here to my left, to your right, is gonna be your laundry room. So you have a nice big laundry room, you have a utility sink already added in here, which is always nice, and plenty of room for your washer dryer. But back over there, there's still plenty of room for you to add some cabinets and counters if you need like a folding station or broom closet. Closet, something like that. Now over here is going to be your bedroom, your bathroom that's going to serve as these two bedrooms. And in here you have the white top, white tile. You have the same gorgeous wood plank that is kind of extended throughout this area. You have the lower cabinets um, with the sinks. And this is something to point out because um, we've talked about it in other videos that there's two different heights for these counters. So if you have children, they prefer this size countertop. It's slightly lower. And then there's also an adult height. Either way, it's a fine height. It's just, it's, sometimes it's important to note that. So you have two sinks, you have the white quartz counter, gorgeous, gorgeous cabinets. Now back over here to the right and the left, you have two bedrooms that kind of mirror each other. Nice big bedrooms, plenty of room, especially if you've got kids, you've got extra ample room in here for um, um, bookshelf with all of their books and toys and bins for their blocks. You've got your um, closet back over there and then here is your uh, third bedroom because we saw the one at the front of the home that had its own bathroom, the one next door. This one again pretty much a mirror image of that one. These two bedrooms, uh, linen closet, bathroom, laundry room, kitchen, AC handler, pantry. Then you have this pass-through right here. So this is kind of your open concept but still a defined space and i like that because instead of just being you know boring and open they do give you this architectural feature here that shows you okay this is where we eat and then this is where we sit and relax I guess you could do both in either area, but this at least gives you that designated space. So this will be your TV, your, your sofa, love seat, recliners, all of that jazz is right here in this spot. You have a huge triple slider, by the way. <coughs> Excuse me. Three, um, three panes here. So triple slider over to your covered lanai, and then you have a nice big backyard. Now, one of my favorite things is this master bedroom. So it's tucked away back here in the rear of the home and it has a lovely tray ceiling. But one of my favorite things is the immediate visual when I first walked into this home and I saw this spa-like oasis retreat that they call a master bathroom. This master bathroom is spectacular. I truly feel, now first of all, I don't think I've ever been to a spa, so I don't really have a point of reference. But if I were to dream that I had such time to indulge in a spa type experience, this would be it. Very earthy, very woodsy, I love it. The cabinets, the flooring, the granite, everything is spectacular. This shower is amazing. And the fact that they've done the same wood tile up and around all the way into this shower, all the way around, even on this side. And then at the bottom, you've got like the pebble stone bottom. You just can like feel the steam bath or something coming. I just, I love it, I love it, I love it. The visual is magnificent. If you were to buy this home, you must, must, must give a tour and you must make sure that your bathroom is always spotless. Huge closet in that direction, a second closet in that direction, a linen closet, separate his and her vanities, as well as a privacy door for the toilet. Really round out that master bathroom and it is really amazing. I, I, am, I am in love with this home. So again, the color scheme is very different. It's um, instead of having your whites and your grays and things like that, that um, are a bit, and I won't say trendy in a negative way, but that's kind of more of the modern take on, on design options. This really gets back to the true classic everyday, everything looks beautiful in this home. Very, very calm, very serene. And I really do feel like this is a huge uh, nod to nature in the, in the color scheme here. I don't know why. I'm just feeling it. Can you tell I'm excited? I hope you are excited. And if you are, please give me a call or text me at 407-848-8042. Please do that first and foremost before you start hunting. Let me help you. I do not work for the builder. I don't represent the builder. I'm a realtor here in Florida, hoping that these video tours are helping to um, let you shop while you sit at home, no matter where you are right now, whether you're in the United States or whether you're in another country somewhere. Hello and welcome to all of you. Please, please, please call me. Let me be a part of your journey. And thank you so much for watching. I sincerely appreciate you. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to text or call. Have a great day and happy house hunting.